if you are paying for a service, okay, like eHarmony.com, I think is is maybe one of the more eHarmony scares the heck out of me. Well, because they supposedly weed <laughs> that out was your worst day? that. But that one is just freaky. I've never been on eHarmony, but they're, they're like they they match you based on forty seven different. Yeah, you have to answer uh, that's like, a and then, million then the aliens questions come down and they and they you know the, you run around and go to all these dating services. No, no, no. I'm actually I'm actually not on date. I, I finished them about a couple of years ago. I'm kind of done with them. How many did you go to? Uh, I was on J Date primarily, and uh, I tried Match.com, and I, I tried um, uh, what's the uh, OK Cupid. And how many dates would you say? I, I went on a couple of dozen, and then look, most of the people are very nice, you know, and and and, and sickos. A couple of weirdos. A couple one one yeah. one woman who 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 totally freaked out on the second date to the point where I had to like. I was thinking about actually filing a restraining order. Like it what? gets, yeah. It gets, she's she's like, I had so much fun. I want to see you again. And again, I'm like, well, I wasn't really that into you. Well, you you've been on two dates with me. You went, I'm like, okay. So, but that happens. That can happen anywhere. I'm sorry, but a woman wanting a third date does not. No, but no, go, no. Calling me every 20 minutes and saying she does though kind of does. Right. Then you yeah, know that's and, a problem. But here's the thing. It, you I don't blame. I don't blame kind of that Com for that. I mean, some women who are you lonely mean, and single can get a little nutty. It's true. And, but and, and, anywhere, you know, and, it doesn't matter what the venue the thing, is. Exactly. So I mean, I understand exactly. why Match.com is doing it, but I, I really believe it's an knee jerk reaction. But here's here's the thing. I don't know if it's it an knee jerk reaction. Is a great publicity stunt. Well, you know, look, I'd never, I'd never, as a PR guy, I'd never type publicity stunt to someone being assaulted. Fine, but when you go to a bar, you're not paying the bartender and you're not paying the bar to set you up. You're paying for the service, so should they be held accountable at least, at the very least, to make sure that you don't have it, they should make sex a, a best offenders effort, and yes. rapists that are looking for victims online? If you are paying for a service, your service is we are going to match you up because you know what? Your ultimate goal is to find a husband or find a but wife. Their service is not we're going to match you up. Their service is we're going to provide you with a collection of people that have decided to join our company who but claim to be single. For a service you are, a but, you're, but service. you're really paying for the database. <clears throat> but do you? But I, but I kind of see the point in that if you're paying for a matchmaking service that you want to know that you're going no. into it by weeding out the bad guys. But right? I would if say you again, wanted the bad guys, you'd go to the bar. You're paying for it's a matchmaking a service. You're paying 10 grand to the woman who's going to screen five people and give you five dates. Ma Match.com, you know let's, let's face it. to do a background check on someone, though? Yeah, I mean, but you know how expensive that would be if Match.com had to do it for its but four million you, people or however many people no, you have? No, because you don't have to pay for They'd service. They pay an annual pay, an annual fee. I think you start charging more than 20 bucks a month, you're going to lose everyone on a Match.com. They raise the rates and say, we actually weed out the people. And there are sites that do that. You can join those dating sites that do well, that. Is that like the good housekeeping there, skills yeah, approval? Yeah, there are dating sites yeah. that will that will do a background no check on everyone you meet, and they have maybe thirty people in their site. So I think the problem comes is you have to make right. the question is quantity versus quality, and I still say at the end of the day it's on you to be smarter about. And your your previous guest was talking about privacy, and and you could you said you could find my address online. Don't give it out. You know I always say if you want you don't want stuff to be public on Facebook, don't post it on Facebook. It's sort of the same thing. You have to be smarter with the people you're meeting online. You have to assume that everything you do is public. Everyone you meet has an ulterior motive until you get to know them better, until you start to trust them. And it's a sad state of affairs, but it's the way we live right now. You have to be more careful. The onus is still on you. Don't tell people your home address after your first you date. Don't, don't use your real name. Don't use your real name on Match.com. If you're email. using your real name on Match.com, you have a bigger problem than that. Liz I would is never use not my on real Facebook. name. I'm assuming you don't post on Facebook. I, I find the whole subject quite disgusting. I really do. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I, you always I, get disgusted on this topic. I really anyway. do. I mean, first of all, men are such such pansies nowadays <laughs> that they don't have the wherewithal to know how to chase a gal and get a date. And you want and, to have the, and the yes. women no and the women <laughs> and the women you're not my type and the women are are are, are so freaked out because feminism has backfired on them that you know they're all their biological clocks are running out so it's you know it's the petri dish or let's go on to some dating service I found the whole thing disgusting on behalf of single men I think it was just let offended. me finish you had the whole <laughs> ten minutes I find it demeaning. Yeah very demeaning to both men and women and I also find it very dangerous and it also says to me you're a loser. I, you know what, it, uh, people are pe I, I don't agree with that. I think people are lonely. They don't want to be alone. Too so bloody using, bad. Yeah. Read a book. <laughs> One of the five marriages last year was, was started online. How do you, are mean, they all these, losers? Well, all these little gadgets you people have. This is all about loneliness. You people. All <laughs> you of you have, people. Nobody can afford. Well, everyone nobody, on a Blackberry is now you people. Nobody can afford to have a s five minutes of silence, they've got to be transmitting garbage for the most part. Now, if you're working, that's another thing, of course. But I, st I have a little habit now that I do. I make a, a little test, and I say, what were you talking about just then? 
And it's nonsense. Most yeah, of what's transmitted that, is nonsense. What do I not realize? That, that, that is what, <laughs> what everybody's doing now, and it's speeding up, and it's getting a lot faster than ever before. It's but there is some. the airways with what? There's I, no I know, content. but you keep saying the same thing. It's bull. Yeah, it's that, bull. I, I, I get that that's your opinion. But, but you're not answering that. No, I am answering. I'm telling you that it's happening, and it's going to get a lot worse. Oh, because lot it's happening, worse. then it's acceptable. No, it's not acceptable. <laughs> some people should take an hour out of their day and not go on I mean, their BlackBerry. or that's a real twist on Weekend day off. That's what my running in the park one. is. I run every morning in Central Park, and well, I do not well, carry my I do not carry my devices with me. That's my time. It, it's also wow. well, that's, that's my time. That's when you should be looking for women. Yes, I, I, I what do you think? Why, why do you think I run as when fast as I do? Catch them. Yeah, yeah. when oh, I was sure. single, I used to think to myself that through exercise I would meet somebody. That also backfired. Oh, anyway. you know what? One backfire. Get a golden retriever puppy. Yeah. I just did that. I'm there very popular. Yeah. I, I also, how about trusting destiny? How about trusting well, maybe destiny? Maybe my destiny is supposed to find someone online. No, your destiny is to have some, you know, some crappy firm where you're going to force people to go out on dates, and then some of them wind up attacking each other. I mean, it's really <laughs> All right. scary. Peter Shankman, thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was weird. We just really enjoyed having you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be right back. Then we're going to talk about the Donald. Would you you vote for him? Find out what the panel has to say next.